What is up, Avatar Country? I'm your homie Twitty Streams, and I'm back at it with yet another reaction. So, uh, Avatar dropped a song. It's called So Sang the Hollow. I seen an interview uh, on Loudwire where Johans, the lead singer, said, I think the song fits the season. So Sang the Hollow lives between a dream and our waking nightmares. It's like a seance with ghosts of your own creation. It's one of those songs that was a very long time in the making, with the main guitar part having been kicked around since I entered the workforce. He finished, though, with an important saying. It also answers the question of what Simon and Garfunkel would have sounded like if they grew up listening to Black Sabbath. So, I figured that sounds pretty dope. Happy Halloween. Let's get into it. We get it up on the screen yeah, and then we're going to turn around and pull up the lyrics. Watch the official visualizer. Creepy. <laughs> That's a dope visual. Looks like the crow kind of right there. The glowing eyes are eerie. Ooh. Definitely not exactly what I thought it was going to be. And so what is that? A mandolin? Or is that a, an acoustic guitar? It sounds more like a mandolin in my opinion. You know, let me, let me know. Drop it down below. Let's get into it. The ship left port empty. I just have to take a moment to point out the vocal range of Johans is insane. He can go from songs like Smells Like a Freak Show to New Land to so, like this, So Sang the Hollow. Like, I mean, he can do any style of metal, essentially. And then he can even do... <laughs> like, this sounds like something... Um... Like, you know, like that you'd see in like some sort of a play or a production of that sort. Like, it almost could fit in with like Repo, Sweeney Todd, you know, that, um, you know, just that aesthetic. As well as just with the music production quality. This band is true artists. True artists. All right, let's, let's go back. But hold on, actually, you know, before we go back. He said the ship left port empty, and empty it remained, so sang the hollow. Like a piece for conversation, it would drift upon the waves, so sang the hollow. And I mean, he talked about it being like a seance with ghosts, you know, of your own ghosts, so you can almost just interpret this song in whatever way that you deem fit, you know. And I'm just getting the vibes of, like, the pure... October season of just a ghost ship sailing, you know, and it's, it's hollow ship just sailing away. Everybody talks about it and it just sings away and keeps going, you know, into farther and farther and farther in time. Almost like it's just like a ghost story that's been passed down through the generations. Left port empty. Conversation, it would drift 
left upon the waves So sigh the hollow If you want, I ask them to turn up the lights It's easier that way Just don't look in their eyes There are things in life you need to know That was a really nice transition. I really enjoyed that. And I understand what he means now about the Simon and Garfunkel reference, you know, as far as like that does sound like something that they would have made, you know. Um, you don't know who Simon and Garfunkel is. They're the ones that made Sound of Silence. You know, Hello, Darkness, My Old Friend. The song that Disturbed covered and made uh, very, very popular as well. But, yeah, he said, if you want, I ask them to turn off the lights. It's easier that way. Just don't look them in their eyes. There are things in life you need to know. The damage that will do will always show. Hmm. So, I don't know, maybe he's just talking about, like, regrets in that aspect. And being ashamed of it, not wanting to look the person in the face. You know, and there's things in life you need to know. The damage you do will always show, and it always will, because it always, like, as far as when it comes to personal relationships, you know, the damage that another person does to another person, it, it exists because it, it does damage to that other person. You know, so it always will show. crazy i can go from a ghost ship one minute to thinking about you know just personal relationships in the next maybe i'm applying my own ghost to the song so beautiful The figure stood in darkness and asked us for our names. So sang the hollow. One of us was summer and one the right to lay. So sang the hollow. Figure stood in darkness and asked us for our names, so sang the hollow. One of us was summoned, and one arrived too late, so sang the hollow. I mean, is that just talking about, like, and life and death, as far as, like, you know, not being able to... Oh, I mean, like, not being able to save somebody in one aspect, or is it just life and death as far as, like, you know, sometimes it's your time to go, and then some people live far past what they should have. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's a very interesting verse. And just the whole style of this song overall for them is just different. I can really appreciate the artistry, like, because it's definitely giving me, like... October vibes so I do see the it fits the season because it's like I don't know about you but to me it sets like it just all the background noises and sound effects and everything are just creating the scene in my head as I listen to it and I read the lyrics it's like my buddy Brian over at Destructive Media always says you know music is meant to be listened to in headphones so if you got a good pair of headphones Slap them on when you're listening to a track because it can change. It can, it can change. In my opinion, it can change the perception of how you see a song just by having some good headphones. But I really love this. This is wicked. Let's, let's go back. On the right to lay so sir. to turn off the lights 
it's easier that way Just don't look in their eyes There are things in life you need to know The damage that we'll do will always show That was really nice. That's a very haunting melody that's being played, that riff. <laughs> this part actually kind of gives me goosebumps, kind of. definitely see exactly what the lead singer was talking about in that interview this band is amazing <laughs> they are true artists and i'm gonna keep diving deeper into this band so i want to know though there's a book that goes along with feathers and flesh or as i believe that's the name of their album about the owl and the eagle i did their reaction to new land I was wondering, should I do a re like a review of the book that goes along with it? Kind of interested in it, so I think I am going to pick it up and like at least listen to the audiobook or read it. Let me know down below. For real, keep dropping the suggestions. I know live reactions are something that people have been talking about wanting me to do, and I'm going to be getting into those here now too. So, happy Halloween, everybody. I hope everybody has a safe holiday, no stupid stuff, no drunk driving, be responsible, but have fun, get that candy, <laughs> and enjoy it, my friends, later.